Hi. I'm Pete Byrne. People have a, your average everyday person has a very warped view of what your appearance actually represents. They can't believe that you just start quite a normal everyday person. They think it's all to do with what you do in bed. Peter, thanks for joining us. I know something's really bugging you at the moment, and that is the fact that the tabloids have all been comparing you unfavourably to people like Boy George and Marilyn. How is that really annoying you? Pass the sick bag. <laughs> hey, anyway, your records, they're not here, mate. I've left them all behind in another flat, trodden on them, being sick on them. I don't have any. Oh, well that's not. What are we going to do? Ah, uh, I knew you'd do this. I just happen to have a little list here. Yeah. Go out and get them. What? It's not important what you wear, it's, it's what's in your head. Do you like, uh, do you like your... This song, I mean, like... Do you oh, think, no, I hate do you think I mean, obviously I like it or I wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, I know, but, uh, do you think your new album is the best one so far? Definitely. Really? You're from Liverpool, right? Yeah. And um, we have a lot of Beatles fans in Japan. Yeah. And um, well, all of us would like to know <laughs> what you think of the Beatles. I don't think, think about them. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't believe we would ever have any mainstream commercial success. I never believed we'd get a number one record. And when it did happen, my first thought was, oh, God, what's going to happen now? Why, uh, why did you come here for promotion? Uh, did you... Uh... That's a silly question. <laughs> I think that now that I'm getting more exposure and everything, you can see there isn't actually that much comparison. I mean, I'm at least eight stone thinner than uh, receding Georgie boy. Oh, you awful person. So, Pete, Liverpudlians are meant to be fun and good-natured, witty. Why are you sulking? Because it's dull. Don't you think you're contributing to the dullness? Probably. And why do you want to get rid of Donald? Because initially I put myself down. And why down. have you called him Donald? an easy error. I put myself down to be evicted and I was told that I couldn't do that. I think in 1984, if this movement goes, you'll get a sex change and hormone casualties, you know. Are you likely to be one of those people? I'm a married man. <laughs> do not talk about me like that. No. <laughs> the things Blue Peter made me do when I was a child. Remember that tortoise they had called Fred? Not right. I painted my tortoise. It was a lady, but I painted it. <laughs> Fred, and it died because it was lead-based paint. <laughs> How we laugh. Of course I look different now than I did 10, 12 years ago. People evolve and they change themselves. It's like living in an apartment and you might get bored with the apartment, so you'll paint the wall a different colour. I guess it'll be a strange experience, depending on what kind of people they are, but hey, i got no problem with other people, it's usually them that have a problem with me. The disillusioning thing you find is that if you make yourself a very strong identity, for instance the iPad, so many kids on the street feel they need to copy it, and that's not really what I'm about, or I even think that any major pop artist is about. They want to encourage people to find their own identity. So I kind of stepped out of that a little bit. I don't think it's important what anyone wears. You can't judge a book by the cover. I understand you uh, individually, you have been uh, with the other groups, uh, other groups of different colors or different uh, musical uh, taste. Well, I was in a blue group. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, were all, we were all in different groups. All so I was, I've always been in my own group. <laughs> I've always, been, I've always been the boss, but uh, these little little devils, I found them oh, in the gutter with dirty sweet cheeks and picked them up from obscurity and made them stars. Yeah, but uh, was it difficult? Uh, was it difficult? <laughs> Nothing was it difficult. I couldn't get Liverpool musicians to work with because even down to the days the Mystery Girls, Julian Cope, would say, Oh, I know, I've got a really good idea. You stand at the back with a blanket over your head and, you know, I'll stand at the front. Because they didn't want people to look at me. Um, so I used to get, like, bin men, literally, who could play a guitar, you know, to come play guitar for me. Do you like your new single? Yeah, it's great. Yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah, happy with this one. Yeah. Do uh, you like it? Do you play it enough? <laughs> That's all we want to we, know. We play it all the time on the Sky Fi Music Show. We think it's great. Do you want to introduce it, Steve? It's a backing track for everyday existence. It's not a cure for cancer. It's not going to change anything, ultimately. So I think pop music's disposable, just like pop singers and pop stars, and ultimately we're disposable. <laughs> That song there, right, that was a big hit in America as well, wasn't it, all over the place? Actually, there were a few of them that were big hits in America. It's still making you a few bob, though, Pete, right? Yeah, it's okay. I it's it's nice, but I'm kind of older now. You'd never yeah. tell. Talk no, you won't. No, you couldn't tell. <laughs> it looks really easy, but I'll probably be screwed.
screaming to be let out after three days, you know. I don't have a team spirit, that's what worries me. I'm not a team player. I play for myself. You're bringing out, uh, you spin me round again, like, but this isn't, you're not re-releasing it, you've done it again. Um, yeah, we re-recorded it so it's a reproduction, just like I am. <laughs> <laughs> but it does still, I have to say, it, it does still sound like... I know and I'm so pissed off. I've got such a strong voice that when I was in the studio, <laughs> we were putting it through all kinds of machines and it still came out sounding like me. Ah, now the B-52s. Now what about them? What's the, what's the magical about them? The wigs. The wigs! <laughs> <laughs> this man loves the hair. Pete, uh, didn't you say in any paper that uh, Boy George uh, I don't took wish your to style? About Boy George. He took your style, he, took, uh, he copied your style. He took my bathroom scales and broke them. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> when he stood on them. <laughs> what about some of the fashions? I don't want to talk about Boy George. I came out of the punk era when things were very, very new and relatively threatening. Now, what do I see from pop rivals? Kill them. You'll be pleased to know that You Spin Me Round is being re-released. I'm actually clinically depressed at the thought of that because I can't keep spinning round till I'm 50. <laughs> you don't want it to be re-released? No, I really don't. I really don't. And I say that completely honestly. I'm sick to damn death of it. I feel like I've been fired out of a cannon. I'm obviously made of strong stuff. Yo! Big Brother is aware you are made of very strong stuff, Pete. <laughs> I get to know your name. A man who dresses like a woman, but has no intention of becoming a woman. Think of yourself as a man or a woman. Think of myself totally as a man. Don't touch my I ain't no fairy. You look like you <laughs> I would be in agony to stand for more than three minutes in those clogs. I do everything in heels. Pete's got a jacket made out of monkey. My coat is in police custody. Gorilla. My coat's been arrested. And I want that coat back within the next two hours. I am my fair coat. She's really getting right up the crap in my ass. You're insincere to the point of nausea. I just attack Tracy for the hell of it. Who's done with that problem? Let's just kill Dennis. We could live on him for three weeks. Hi, Dragula has risen from the grave. I just want to go. You bunch of slags. It's like being in a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> I'm coming to pieces. I just really miss my boyfriend. Michael! We both love you. We really, really do. I want to stay. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a... F you spin me right round, baby, right round. Right.